Knowing the peace and purpose of God begins with worship. Worship can be defined in so many different ways. It's surrender, it's gratitude, it's being in awe. Worship is a tool, it's an action, it's a weapon. I think a lot of these different things are true in their own way, but I think there's one phrase that connects each layer of meaning into what we believe worship to be. Simply put, worship is a response. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, it says, When he took the scroll, and the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp and golden bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals because you were slaughtered and you purchased people for God by your blood. From every tribe and language and people and nation, you made them a kingdom and priest to our God and they will reign on the earth. We believe that biblical worship is a response to a loving God who humbled himself, came down from heaven. He died a criminal's death on the cross, the death that we deserved. He rescued us from sin that we might become the righteousness of God. In Revelation, the elders and the priests, they didn't worship because it was a chore or because it was a formality, but they worshiped. It was a natural response over what he's done. And it was a song in their heart, singing to the Lord. When we come to know this God fully and intimately, there is no other response but the response that is worship. So the vision for worship here at CCNE is for our family to know the peace and purpose of God in our life, to know his love, to know his presence. And when we do, a genuine, authentic response of worship should occur both inside and outside of our services. We will, through surrender, allow the Holy Spirit without distraction to do whatever he wants to do and lead us into the throne room of heaven with boldness and confidence and in one voice respond to what God has done with one voice in song and melody in our heart. And this helps us to be able to receive the message the way that we need to receive it. It readies our hearts for the word of God to change us and mold us into who he has called us to be.